Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how we can select the photo or image behind text. Alright, so I have a bunch of um, nonsense text and then I inserted an image like this. So if you look at the, the picture format here, it is the um, square. Or whatever the other one, you can move it into the text and it's going to break the text out like this. But uh, the things become really challenging if we we click behind text like this and for example if you, if you make it smaller move it into a middle of the text and if you you click out and then you click come back you couldn't select the photo or the image anymore so that's what we want to do today all right so no matter how hard you try clicking on all of the options like view the insert whatever you can't really select the text, all right? Um, there's two options. The first one is to uh, go back, you know, and do it again, like Control Z to go back and do it again, and then select a different uh, picture format. But you know, uh, what's the point if you want to make a video and then ask you to go back and do the whole thing again? So the thing is, I would suggest one way to do it is to, to um, select all of the text one you see um, this digital symbol here up here that means in the text it is there is no, an object all right it's like the all right so one we see the one and then we will click on the area where you have the the, the photo for something like this it, then we can select the photo all right and right here you can move it again or resize it or do it delete it whatever you want but the whole thing is is that you can't select it it's like this if you can't do this then just select the whole text wait for this one to appear normally instantly appear appearing and then we just click on the area where there is our image like this and then the problem is solved um, thank you very much for your watching